Here is a second example of transforming random variables. Let the random variable x have probability density function f sub x of x is e to the minus x and that's defined on a support x greater than 0. Find the cumulative distribution function of y equals g of x equals x squared. So we're finding the distribution of the square of a random variable that has this particular probability density function. Same as last time, we start out by finding capital Fx of x, which will be the integral from 0 to x of f of w dw. And so that'll be e to the minus w dw. And that integral is going to be minus e to the minus w. And that is evaluated from 0 to x. When you plug in a 0, you get e to the 0, which is 1. And when you plug in x, you get minus e to the minus x. And that is for x greater than 0. Now, I should write this in two different pieces. Namely, this is the cumulative distribution function of x when x is greater than 0. And I should also indicate that the cumulative distribution function of x for x less than or equal to 0 is 0. But let's move on now to finding the CDF of y by the transformation technique. This always starts out exactly the same. You write out the definition of the CDF of y, and there it is. Now, our transformation here is y equals x squared. So the second step is to replace y by x squared. The third step is to do algebra on the inequality to isolate x, and that's taking the positive square root of both sides. So now we have the probability x is less than or equal to the square root of y. When you look at this and see that this is the probability that x is less than or equal to something, you think of this as the CDF of something, namely x's CDF evaluated at the square root of y. You know that x's CDF is given by this, so you simply write down 1 minus e to the minus square root of y, and you are done, except we did not write down the support. So we have to figure out if x has positive support, what is the support of x squared? That also turns out to be positive, so we write y greater than 0 out here, and that is the support of y. We use the symbol script A for the support of x, and we use the symbol script B for the support of y.